price, median price for an existing home is up 28 percent, is it not? I think that there's been rising housing costs for the past decade. The monthly mortgage payment under President Biden is actually up 141 percent, isn't it? Housing prices have been going up consistently over the past decade. The mortgage rates under President Biden are up 176 percent, aren't they? I think the Federal Reserve is trying to do something about inflation. Since President Biden took office, the average electricity prices in our country have gone up 29.4 percent, haven't they? I know that electrical costs and utilities have gone up consistently over the past several years. No, ma'am, that's not true. Seven years before President Biden took office, the electricity prices only rose 5%. Now, he took over, now they're up 29.4%. Uh, since President Biden took office, iron and steel are up 28%. Isn't that true? I don't have that number in front of me. Okay. Aluminum is up 7%. Is it not under President Biden? I don't have that either. HVAC units, an air conditioner for your home, under President Biden, an AC system is up 37 percent, isn't it? I think the pandemic had something to do with that. And uh, shingles are up 19 percent, aren't they? Same there. Appliance, household appliances are up 22 percent, aren't they? Again, I think we have a supply chain issue, and that's reflective in the numbers that you're stating. And the supply chain issues are solved. Ele electric wire is up 14 percent, isn't that correct, Madam Secretary? I don't have that number in front of me, sir. This Inflation in home prices and building materials that I've just talked about, it's man-made, isn't it? And that man's name is Joe Biden, isn't it? Senator, I think that we all experience the complexities of a global comeback. I think some of the numbers you stated may, may be entirely true. I don't, I don't have it here, but what I do... Oh, they're, they're true, Madam Secretary. Don't take my word for it. Very Ask good. the average American. But it's, and it's one of the reasons why, um, for the past three years, the administration has tried to be responsive to these additional costs. Well, excuse me for interrupting, but I'm like the ch our good chairman, and you need to pay attention to his request, by the way. But we've got limited time. This administration hasn't succeeded. Inflation is gutting our middle class like a fish. And the reason housing prices are up so high is because of President Biden's inflation. That's why I find it extraordinary to learn that HUD, under your leadership, has issued a new mandate. All new homes financed or insured by the Federal Housing Administration and HUD, which is most homes in America, have now got to follow the 2021 International Energy Conservation Code standard. The National Association of Home Builders says that this new standard is going to add $31,000 on top of all of this inflation to the cost of a new home. Unless you peaked in high school, this is craziness. You're making it worse, aren't you? Senator. Are you serious about this rule? I I've been in this industry for many decades, and I will submit to you that some of the housing pressures we see right now is because housing have not, has not been built in almost 20 years. And you're going to encourage uh, home builders to build by adding $31,000 to their costs, and you're going to encourage people to buy by adding $31,000 to the price tag? Have your people at HUD been living in outer space? <laughs> Haven't they seen what's been going on in America what, what, with inflation and home prices? There's two costs to home ownership. One is buying the house and operating. I'm going to allow one last exchange. We're into the second minute overtime. And, Sorry. And, and what we know is that, and you refer to the increasing cost of utilities, that with this energy code regulation, we are going to reduce utility costs for low and moderate income families across the country. Do you and believe I, in the and tooth I dispute, fairy? I dispute the home builders. Do you believe in the Easter cost. Bunny? Senator Kennedy, I'll, I'll allow you the last word. And then Do you believe that Jimmy Hoffa died of a natural death? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Senator Kennedy.